Hi, this video is going to tell you how to lighten your hair with peroxide, but not get the orangey kind of tint that it leaves in your hair after you use it. And all you're going to need is peroxide, obviously, um, a spray bottle, anything that, you know, any kind of spray bottle, and um, a soap, a dish soap with baking soda because the baking soda is going to remove all the residue from your hair and get rid of that orange tint and I like to use like a blonde conditioner after um, just because I don't know I feel like it works and a deep conditioner if you want because the peroxide is kind of drying to your hair so you want to like replenish all the natural oils and conditioner um, so this is going to work best on um, blonde hair, already blonde hair, um, highlighted blonde hair, to like medium brown hair. You don't, I wouldn't suggest doing it on really dark brown hair because you might not be able to remove all of the orange tones and then it's just going to look bad. Um, I mean, I guess if you like that kind of thing then you can do that, but, um, so first you're going to start off by pouring the peroxide into the spray bottle and then on a nice sunny day, um, you're going to go outside and spray it all throughout your hair. I like to do mine in like sections, like I start on my part and then I move like about an inch over after like a half hour or 15 minutes, however long, and then part it a little bit over and spray it so all your roots are done. And then if you have dark hair and you're doing it for the first time, just spray it all over your hair. Um, because then you can even it out and you can like do little sections. You could start off just by putting like half up, half down, and then just spray all that. It depends on how long you want to start outside. If it's really hot, then you can just do it, you know, every day um, for about a week, and then your whole hair should be blonde or lighter. But you just want to start off by doing small sections if your hair is darker. If your hair is lighter and you just want some highlights, just go ahead and do it where you part your hair. Um, but, you, get, you know, just spray it wherever you want, set it out in the sun. Then once you come back in, you're going to take a shower. But the first thing you're, you're going to do before you even shampoo your hair is you're going to use the yellow dish soap. Um, and if you, if you didn't get one with the baking soda, put a little bit of baking soda in it because the baking soda removes all that gross orange tint um, from your hair. So you're going to use that, put it all over your hair. I like to let mine kind of sit in my hair for a little while, about like three to five minutes, just because I feel like it gets everything out. And then wash that out of your hair. Um, and then I like to use a blonde conditioner, like for blonde hair. This one's the Go Blonder by John Frieda. Um, I just feel like it also helps get all the residue out and kind of intensify the blonde look. Um, and then I like to use another deep conditioner just because the peroxide is very drying on your hair. Um, so the most important step in this is definitely the yellow dish soap with some baking soda because it really does remove everything from your hair. Like, I swear it works. Like, I have, I have like light brown hair and, um, a couple summers ago I completely peroxided it. I went to the pool one day and just sat out for a really long time and it turned my hair really orange and the orange didn't wash out for a couple of months. So I kind of wanted to have that same blonde hair like I do now, but I decided to try this. Um, it was actually, I just had this because my hair gets really green in the summer because I swim a lot, so I get this to remove all the green from my hair. So I decided to try it and see if it would remove the orange, and it did. So I was really happy about that. So I just keep doing that. Every time, you know, touch up your roots, use this again. It gets rid of everything. kind of evens out the tone, especially with um, the blonde shampoos and conditioner. I would definitely um, get one of these if you really want to have blonde hair all year round. And you can use the peroxide all year round. Um, even in the winter without sunlight. Um, for darker hair, it might be a little harder because your hair is going to go a little bit darker than it would in the summer when you have the light on it, when the sunlight's hitting it. So you might just want to, like, maybe use a little bit more 
of it and then keep using a blonde shampoo the whole year and it'll um, keep it all nice and blonde. Um, so those are just some tips um, you can try. I really recommend doing this because it definitely works and I swear there's no orange in my hair now. And um, I just did my roots and you can tell there's nothing. If there's no orange, um, this really does work. Hair or blonde hair, and you want to go a little bit blonder, I would definitely use peroxide and dish soap because it really works, and it's just a really amazing. Because I really wanted blonde hair, so but definitely check this out if you're interested in lightening your hair for a cheap alternative to dyes and less harmful than dyes. Um, they really do work. And I hope this helped. Um, leave me any comments if you want me to do other videos or tell me how this worked out for you because I'm really interested in hearing if other people have the same results as I did. Um, so yeah, try, try it out, check it out, and tell me how it worked. Bye!